This time, I'm going to tie Blake's hitch. I start with my bridge in front of me, all four turns that I'll be making around the standing part of the climbing line, this time are above the bridge notice. After forming my four turns, I then take the tail and I pass underneath the bridge. And between the bridge and the standing part of the climbing line, underneath those turns. And notice how it locks those turns in and holds them tightly. What I'll then be doing is taking the tail, the end of the tail, and threading it up through two turns on the back side here. Some people will tie this by wrapping, taking a couple of the wraps at least around the thumb to hold it open, and that's fine. It depends on you as to how you tie it, but make sure that you're coming around the back side and then going threading through the two turns. I will use a figure eight stopper knot here. Anytime we're using an open tail, we do that. Now, Blake's hitch, to set Blake's hitch, what I want to do is, as I've set my weight into it, I will tug on the tail, and that will set it. Many times when we think of setting a knot or a hitch or a bend, it's about tightening it up as tight as we can get it. That is not the case with Blake's hitch. We want it to be taut and snug, but not as tight as we can get it. That would cause it to jam. So the setting action is a little bit different. I want it snug, I set into it, and I tug on the tail. Now, some of the advantages of Blake's hitch are that it doesn't bind the way the pressic might, and even the taut line hitch sometimes, especially if it's jammed up against the stopper knot but also that it doesn't roll out, it won't work its way toward the stop or not. And when we combine that with other components, for example, a micro pulley, those characteristics are favorable. I don't want to have a knot that's jamming if I'm working toward having a system of tailing my slack with one hand. If the hitch is tightening up and I've got to loosen it, I'm losing some of the advantage there, okay? Now, I just want to look briefly at the wear point. The hot spot of Blake's hitch would be here, okay? We need to keep that in mind and inspect it properly, and inspect it frequently, okay? The faster we're moving, the longer the distance of descent, the more abrasion we'll have on any of these climbing hitches. Okay, but keep that in mind. And one more thing I'd like to add is that it's a temptation and sometimes it can be confused by thinking that you want to thread up through the two turns here on the front side of the bridge. Don't be mistaken. Pass the tail under the bridge in between the bridge and the standing part of the climbing line underneath the hitch and then thread up through the two turns.